Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to clarify something that might have confused some of the viewers in a video that I made a, a long time ago. It was a video about how to solve for the integral of cosecant squared uh, cubed x dx. And in that video, I, in the end, I came up with the solution that it is equal to this, one half of negative cotangent x multiplied by cosecant x plus a ln absolute value of cosecant x minus cotangent x and of course plus c. But one of our viewers in that video commented that I am that the actual answer is this except that it is negative ln. And I'm assuming that he was talk he or she was talking about this part since there is no other ln in this question or problem and this is correct except that if it's going to be negative ln it will have to be absolute value of cosecant x plus not negative or not minus cotangent x and so these answers are both correct but i think if you search up for the integral of cosecant cubed x dx in the internet, like Google, I feel like most of them will have their answer with negative ln absolute value of cosecant x plus cotangent x. So I guess that's how that viewer got confused. Maybe, she, maybe he or she didn't see the negative. But I would like to show you guys how ln absolute value of cosecant x minus cotangent x is equal to negative ln absolute value of cosecant x plus cotangent x because these are both correct answers but it's not obvious to look at it right away and know that they're equal to each other. So our problem in this video is solving for y ln absolute value of x ln absolute value of cosecant x minus cotangent x is equal to negative ln absolute value of cosecant x plus cotangent x. So first of all, we're going to change the cosecant into a 1 over sine x. value of 1 over sine x and cotangent x is equal to 1 over tangent x. And since we have the negative here and and so we're going to use the law of logarithms and put the negative 1, so it's actually negative 1 multiplied by ln and we're going to bring the negative 1 up here as an exponent that would give us ln absolute value ln of 1 over absolute value of cosecant x plus cotangent x and we don't have to simplify anything for here and we're going to just work our way from here now We know that tangent x is equal to. We know that tangent x is equal to uh, sine x over cosine x, and so that would make a one over tangent x equal to cosine x divided by sine x. And of course, this is just equal to the ln absolute value of 1 minus cosine x divided by sine x. And from here, we're going to multiply on top and bottom of this uh, fraction. We're going to multiply on the top 1 plus cosine x and also multiply the same thing on the bottom. 1 plus cosine x. And if we do this, 
1 minus cosine x multiplied by 1 plus cosine x is equal to 1 minus cosine squared x divided by if we multiply this, well, I'll just leave it as the way it is right now. And by the trigonometry identities, uh, the Pythagorean, 1 minus cosine squared x is equal to sine squared x. ln absolute value of sine squared x divided by sine x multiplied by 1 plus cosine x and which is equal to we can cancel out the sine x and another sine x on the on the uh, numerator so that would make ln absolute value of sine x divided by 1 plus cosine x and in here we know that we can rewrite this as ln absolute value of 1 divided by 1 plus cosine x divided by sine x. I hope you can see this. Well, it's hard to write at this angle, so. So since we, re we can rewrite this as this, we can now change the denominator, so 1 plus cosine x divided by sine x, into two different fractions, which that would be 1 divided by sine x plus cosine x divided by sine x. That may be a little bit too hard to see, but it's, it actually says ln absolute value of 1 divided by 1 divided by sine x plus cosine x over sine x. And I'll now work over here. So that is equal to the ln absolute value of 1 divided by 1 over sine x is equal to cosecant x plus cosine x divided by sine x is equal to cotangent x. Since so that is 1 over tangent x. And as you can see, we got the same answer for this and this. They're equal to each other. So that so this video was a video of me explaining why an absolute value of cosecant x minus cotangent x is equal to negative is equal to negative ln absolute value of cosecant x plus cotangent x. I hope you could understand well why those two are equal to each other, and I hope you could understand my explanation as well. And I hope you don't have any more questions, but if you do, you can you can comment them below. Thank you for watching, everyone. Bye.